A new partnership between Morehouse College and Google Jigsaw aims to address internal bias by using some virtual reality tools. It's meant to take officers from behind the badge and put them in the shoes of the people that they are interacting with on a day to day basis. Karis Belger spoke with two professors who are helping spearhead the project and share us how it's all going to work. It's a new take on police officer training. Morehouse College and Google Jigsaw's new collaboration aims to address internalized bias using computers. We're using virtual reality and artificial intelligence in order to simulate scenarios that would be encountered in the community between African Americans and police officers. Dr. Kenneth Gaucher and Dr. Bryant Marks are spearheading the initiative on campus. They're also bringing students to conduct the research and make adjustments so participants can get an authentic experience. Where you look, that's data. What you say is data. How you say it is data. How many times you say it to get the system to hear it or what, what type of vernacular you use. All of those things are data points that map this actual engagement out. The partnership combines Morehouse's culturally relevant computing lab and National Educational Institute for Race and Equity, headed by Dr. Bryant Marks. He's hoping this new initiative will cut down on the tense interactions between marginalized communities and law enforcement. So they can make the mistakes potentially in virtual reality rather than reality. And so we think that's highly effective because they'll have, quote unquote, some practice, if you will, prior to facing that, that situation um, in a real setting where there's significant and real consequences. And Dr. Mark says this is the first step. And if this goes well, he hopes to expand this training to other professions. This is going to be so eye opening mm -hmm. for a lot of people once they go through that virtual reality training. Dr. Marks and Dr. Gaucher both say they know technology is not a silver bullet to fix internalized bias, mm -hmm. but they're hoping that this will provide a crucial first step for law enforcement agencies and those community groups who may have bias toward police as well. And you make a really good point because I think there are a lot of people who would say, I, I don't feel like I have a bias, but mm -hmm. when you see it play out in that form, you could really have to address things that you did not think were there. Right. Using video gaming for a great cause. Yes. Great story by Karis.